Look, I'm just a geologist. I like rocks. I love rocks. So, I, I don't have any fun, exciting. Yeah. I, no, I, Steve, I, why don't you... T- you know what? I got a story that happened to you, Steve. Oh, God. Well, I <laughs> volunteer your story. <laughs> there was one night, Jesse and I, I was in Philadelphia. Jesse and I met up at a... At a local watering hole. We were waiting for you to get done work. And <laughs> we, get a text, we get a text from Steve. What was there? He's like, God, there's a gas or there, we, we hit the gas oh, line while we were excavating. Man. Why don't you tell that story? Oh. So, <laughs> so I want to point thought, out that it wasn't, it wasn't nighttime. It was like three in the afternoon. Yes. It, that, it, like, get up it work. Five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so we're, we're drilling in this uh, facility in Philadelphia. And it used to be a manufactured gas plant. They used to cook coal in sealed chambers and uh, all day long they would do this. And a byproduct of that was methane. It was natural gas. And then they'd store the natural gas in tanks. And then at night when they lit their lamps for the city or or people turn on their stoves, then the, the gas would, you know, they'd pump the gas out. And so there are all these old gas holders at this one facility that were just, they just knocked them down. They used to be made out of like brick and they used like the groundwater table to seal them. Like there was no real seal at the bottom or anything like that. They just used the water table as a seal. So when they were done doing this and everything switched to just, you know, uh, mined natural gas as opposed to manufactured natural gas, they just knocked these things down and uh, paved over it. And it was like a parking lot. So, there, you know, there's all this contamination associated with this process. So in, in the process of cleaning this up or drilling a hole through where one of these holders was supposed to be. So we're drilling and all of a sudden there's all these bubbles coming up next to the drill bit. And I was like, well, that's odd. Like, did we hit a gas line? And so we're, we're drilling at a, at a gas company. I'm not going to name the name, but so, you know, we stop everything, what we're supposed to do. The gas company comes out and tests it. It's like, no, it's fine. They keep going. So we, we keep going. <clears throat> we drill down to our target depth of like 45 feet or whatever. And then we're, we're taking the rods, you know, at, we're taking the drill bit back up. And as we're taking the drill bit back up, we're pumping it full of cement. So if there was any contamination, it's not going to like cross contaminate something. So we're pumping it full of cement, taking the rods out. We get to the same depth of where this, where these bubbles were. And then boom, (laughs) it just explodes with all this concrete comes shooting out of the inner barrel of the drill and just is shooting rocks and concrete everywhere all over this parking lot. Did you see any flames come out? No, no, no. It was all just pressurized gas at this point. So I'm like, you know, I'm in full panic mode, like trying to, make sure no car windshields get broken. Like I'm not thinking almost like, you know, just some pressurized zone. Uh, You're a good company, man. Yeah. Don't worry about liability here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we call the gas company back up. They come back out. They're like, Oh yeah, this is a hundred percent methane. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> whoops. What? what? Well, I'm going to go have a smoke. So, you know, we, the rig is shut down. We shut the rig down. Every, like I make everybody back up, like, you know, a couple hundred yards and these gas company guys who are used to dealing with gas all the time, they're just standing around like, Oh yeah. You know, thank God it was windy that day, but they're like, well, you know, what do you want to do? I'm like, we're just going to leave this here and let it degas. They they said it wasn't a gas line cause they tested the gas and they could tell that it wasn't their gas. Like we didn't hit <laughs> a gas line. This was just residual gas in the ground from this old process. So I'm like, all right, we'll just, you know, evacuate the parking lot and just let it vent out until it stops venting. And they're like, the driller's like, yeah, I'll just start the rig up and I'll just pull the, pull the rods back out. (laughs) And I was like, what? I was like, no, I'm strongly against this. I'm writing this down. Like, no, absolutely not. He's like, yeah. And the gas guys are like, well, that'll probably stop it because it'll seal itself back up. And I'm like, I'm leaving. (laughs) (laughs) I went to the parking lot, like, you know, a, a half a mile away while they did this. Oh my God. It was terrifying. Yeah. So we did. Yeah, so, um, so there it is. It's all that pressurized gas is still down there. <laughs> we did while we were <clears throat> sitting at the 
at the pub, we were watching the window because we were in the <laughs> same neighborhood. So yes. we were. Because I'm not going to lie, if it would have it, it would have went up. Were we, we were close to it? Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, in it was... We were in like Fishtown. Yeah, Port Richmond. Port Richmond. Yeah. Ah. Oh, wow. So we were. I remember thinking. Like, we remember we had a beer ready to go in case we saw a big fireball. <laughs> we pour pour one out for him. <laughs> ah. Yes. So. I definitely had some post-traumatic stress from that. Like I had nightmares for weeks. <laughs> no, I just remember getting that text message. You're like, where the yeah. hell is Steve at? What's taking him so long? And then you started talking like, ah, we just, uh, I think we just hit a gas line. I was like, oh, jeez. Yeah. 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 I, now, that I, now that I say, I do remember like looking out the window, like, all right, let's look for that mushroom cloud coming up <laughs> right off the Delaware River. Yeah, that was terrifying. So, um, yeah. So, goes to show you. I, yeah. I'm glad I had my heart hat on because, like, fist-sized rocks are raining down. Yeah, we've uh, well, we'll intersperse some some other drilling. Really-